Whether it's fixing your figures or talking about effect parts, it's all about quality of life with Steven's Toy Tips. So it's another Friday the 13th and you're sitting there home alone in the dark. Don't worry, I'm going to help you put a little light on the subject. Hey there collectors, it's Steven here and today I'm going to help you use some of the Friday the 13th memorabilia that you have to make a nice diorama lamp so this way you can put a little light on the subject and have a, well, let's just say tasteful representation of Jason in your humble abode. So as you can see right here in front of you, you can have yourself a recreation of Jason floating in Camp Crystal Lake with just a few different supplies. And you can make it look just as creepy as Jason Voorhees himself. So without any delay, let's just go ahead with a quick rundown on how to do everything. So for this here, you're basically going to need at least three essential supplies and the rest you can kind of figure out on your own. What you're going to need here is you're going to need one Kohler fish tank, which I will link to in the description down below. But for those of you who maybe want to try to find it on your own, you're looking for a three gallon 360 with power filter and LED lighting. This is the AquaView model specifically. Then we do have the Camp Crystal Lake accessory set from NECA. And for this particular one, to just keep it sort of movie accurate, it is the part six Ultimate Jason figure from NECA as well. For all of the other supplies that are here, they are top fin products we just picked up from a local pet supply store. I'm just showing you what they have here. Now, the reason why I say it's up to you, uh, well, we just picked out different plastic plants and some little logs and whatnot that we thought would be great here. I say we because my wife helped me with this one. We also wanted to pick some gravel so this way it looked really close to the bottom of Camp Crystal Lake because that's where, you know, Jason is going to be floating in. And we also thought it would be pretty cool when the lights go out to have some glowiness in that gravel as well. So basically when you're making this, this whole section of the video is just to kind of show you a little bit of creativity and how that might be done. So you're basically just going to be filling this up. Not a whole big deal there, real easy to do. You just put the gravel in. We used the whole five pound bag just so this way it added some weight to the fish tank so this way it's not going to be toppling over in any direction. And also so this way it adds a little bit to the believability of the lamp. Then we also just put in the different decorations that we had and we just pushed them down into the gravel. We assembled the rock diorama accessories that we got in the Camp Crystal Lake accessory set. Do be careful that you don't break anything like unfortunately happened in this particular accessory set. And then what you would want to do here is since Jason will be floating, so to speak, on uneven ground with the gravel, you're going to have to bury the Camp Crystal Lake sign in the gravel. This does sort of lend it to a very spooky feeling because you're going to have a little bit of the sign poking through the gravel. So that is very cool cool to see. For this particular one, what we opted to do is have Jason hold the spear, which is pretty neat, and then have the machete sticking out of the gravel, almost as if he dropped it in vain. So that's pretty fun. Now, taking a look at how this was all set up, here's just a sort of in-depth stylized look at everything, so you can see how the different plants look, how the logs look. Pretty cool. The only downside of this is that from the back, it's a little bland, but you're not going to be looking at this from the back. And then also, Jason is pretty close to the lid of the fish tank. So for some, that may be a little bothersome, but realistically speaking, it's not that big of a deal. Now, for this particular model of fish tank, they actually have a couple of different versions. One of them comes with a power supply already in the box. The other, you're going to have to buy the power supply separately, but don't worry. It is basically what you're going to be using for a phone charger, but it's the old style, the one that's not new. It's one of the mini USB ones. So if you have a newer phone, unfortunately, you're probably going to have to hunt down one of the older ones. But don't worry, if you don't want to give up your phone charger, you can use AAA batteries. Now for the light on this, it cycles through a whole bunch of different colors. Blue, red, yellow, green, purple. 
the whole shebang. What's cool about this too is that there's a feature on it so this way it can alternate between all of the colors, just kind of rapid fire, one, two, three, in select sets. So you get two different ones, so they're not exactly the same. Then you get one setting on it, so this way it pulsates a sort of whitish light. It's almost a tint of blue to it. And then there's another one where it sort of fades in and out through all of the different colors that it has, which is fantastic as well if you want to go for another creepy sort of display. On the actual light, it does have a setting for two, four, and eight hours, I believe it is. I don't have it in front of me and I only have it set to four hours and I just kind of left it there. So if you're looking to be battery conscious and you just put this on when you use it as a nightlight while you go to sleep at night like we do, this will be great for you. So overall, what are we looking at for the total cost? Well, the Camp Crystal Lake set and Jason are going to be between $25 to $27. The fish tank's going to be about $30. For the gravel, I believe it was about $10. And then for the miscellaneous supplies that you want to get, anywhere between $5 to $7. So realistically speaking, yeah, you're probably looking somewhere in the $70 range, probably closer to $100, but still... This is pretty cool for something that, realistically speaking, isn't all that expensive. I posted this in a few Facebook groups. They were thinking that it was an official prop replica of some kind. Closer to $500? Yeah, no. Much cheaper than that. So if you're looking for something cool for this Halloween season or any time of the year, you can do it for relatively cheap. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.